Hello, Nomad Sculpt. This video is recorded with version 178. Um, this video is about mask, gestures and settings, not about how to use the mask. Okay, so in the forum, my <laughs> friend Knacki made a, a summary of all the masking shortcuts and tricks he knows and I do a video uh, about this. Okay, so here in Nomad's Cult, okay, where to find the mask? So here in the tools menu, there's the normal brush stroke mask and Nearby is a cell mask. These are the masking tools. And you also find a mask button here on the left side. It's a shortcut. So when you press this button here, at the moment the view tool is active. And when you press the shortcut button, it selects the mask tool. And when you deselect the button, it switches back to the tool before. So here in the settings here, gesture settings, you find some mask settings here. Um, here you see the, the shortcut button and it selects now the mask and I can switch it to cell mask. So when I now press here the cell mask button, or you see now here's cell mask and when you press it, then it switches to cell mask. So you can change this, um, here the button. And here's an option for one tap shortcuts. This, these shortcuts here is tap on the background to invert the mask, tap on the mask area to blur the mask and tap on unmasked area to sharpen the mask. So what does it mean? So I select now the mask, I mask here a part and now the, the one tap shortcuts are active. So when I press inside the mask area, it blurs the mask. And when I press outside here in, on the mesh, it sharpens the mask. You find these options here also here sharpen in the mask settings and blurring. And to invert the mask, here tap on the background to invert the mask. So when you tap outside here in free space, the mask is inverted. Okay. To clear the mask here when cell mask is active you can here um, with a lasso you can draw in free space here um, a mask and press to clear the mask and it also works when you I think um, <coughs> with a finger you can Long, long press outside and yeah, or hold the mask button. Yeah, um, in free space, uh, draw a mask um, to clear the the mask on the object here. So like this, and here with a cell mask to clear it. There. There is an option with a with a mask button to hold it, and I don't know how it works. It's not my thing. So the next uh, options are here. You see your mask. You can drag it around on the screen, and this um, works like this. When you here use the rectangular tool you see here sorry I changed to few uh, no not to few 
So here you see an um, auto validate option. Turn this off. So now it's possible to move around your masking area. And it's also possible when you pick it here to move it around and when you use your fingers, you can rotate the masked area and scale it. So something like this. You can also use your pencil and put as your a second finger on the on the screen and then it's also possible to use the pencil and a finger to do these options here and um, then it rotates around your finger so yeah you can play around with it so it's um, the validation auto validation when it's off then you can do such things Okay, so we got the clear, the blur, the sharpen and the invert gesture. And let's see if there's, okay. Yeah, here's a toggle mask, cell mask option. Here, when you select the mask tool and you long press on the screen, then it toggles. Here, you see here, it jumps from mask to cell mask. So, like this. And um, you can read here the descriptions, what it does exactly. So, okay. The next thing is here, you find here a unmask button. So now the mask is active. And when you press unmask, your tool is now um, a razor for the mask and you can do such things. So I think the most of the drag inside wine mask specialist. Yeah. That's it, I think. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.